I received this text yesterday. Who's Bugby? I said, CEO of Scorpio Tankers. The person said, someone on Twitter is giving you credit for your knowledge of him or for his knowledge of him. I said, I interviewed uh, him many times. I am shocked that someone on Twitter is giving me credit for anything. What this person is talking about is this individual, CEO of Scorpio Tankers. I interviewed him on my YouTube channel nine times. Now, this video is important because I'm going to talk about Oracle, Tankers, Voxter, and Aduro. I said in yesterday's interview that I have an army, army of haters on social media. And the other day I received a phone call from somebody else saying, how do you even deal with this? And this is, this is no news to me. I am just a bigger celebrity today. So I have more haters. But there's always haters out there and losers that don't have anything to do with their time. And I'm going to go back to Oracle now. So I've discovered Oracle in 2014. I got invested in 2017. There was a guy named Conrad, or his username was Conrad. This was the days when I would still comment on social media, on, on the forums. Now, I'm way too important for that. I don't comment on the forums, right? I'm a celebrity, so I don't comment with the common people. You understand? Uh, but on Stackhouse, I used to comment on Oracle because I was invested in Oracle. I was sharing my knowledge. Well, this guy, Conrad, had a problem with me. I don't know why. But he had a problem with me. Every time I would post, within seconds, he would contradict me. It doesn't matter what I said. I was always wrong, right? So now I have an army of Conrads on Twitter, wherever. But if you think about it and put things in perspective, what kind of work have I done on Oracle? Because when I got involved, it was about, here's the asset that they don't quite own yet. Like they didn't they didn't have it registered, so there was a legal, legal problem that needed to be resolved. And after this, you're talking about, you know, updating the 4311, getting the PEA, preliminary kind of assessment that we just got a few days ago. But first it was the legals. So let's talk about the kind of work that I've done for the legals, right? For which I was criticized and crucified every day by Conrad. So here we go. This is uh, classicvalueinvestors.com slash Arizona lawsuit. So I was buying legal documents directly from the courthouse, okay? And I was uh, uploading them here. Look at the number of documents. And there were three different lawsuits. Lawsuit number one... Lawsuit number two, lawsuit number three. We are talking about 13 documents here, 50 documents here, and 46 documents here. We're talking about 109 documents. And let me just show you one thing. So I'll click on one of the documents. So you can see, this is what I was buying from the courthouse, right? I, would, I was following this lawsuit because I needed conviction. I was following this lawsuit. And the moment that something was posted on the website, 
that a new document appeared, I would call the courthouse, pay two bucks, buy it, and upload it and share it with people, just like I'm sharing information with you right now, all right? And let me show you another document so you can see, right? All, I mean, just legal. I mean, this is pages. This is 14 pages long, right? And I was reading it. I was sharing this kind of stuff. And also, there was at the end, like a hearing, okay? And I, I paid money to get the recording of that hearing. And I posted it on my YouTube channel. This meeting was given yeah. to counsel to... A, hear, a hearing like this. Now, this gave me conviction that it was almost 100% certainty that Oracle was going to win the legals. And of course, they won the legals. But the point is that I did this kind of work, right? And then I also wrote Understanding Santa Thomas Legals, which was like a 17-page paper, summarizing all of this and why I thought that they were going to win. I had the structure of who owned what, how much, dates, what was happening, right? How the, the lawsuit was developing, what, what was being canceled, right? And I was sharing this with people, okay? Look at this. Look at this work. This is incredible. I'm like shocked myself that I've done this type of work. Now, when I was proven right, I was lucky. I was a one-trick pony. I was criticized by Conrad, right? But so for this kind of work, I went to Mexico four times. I studied the legals. I was on the phone countless number of hours with all of the people, Adam, Craig, Richard, understanding the situation, right? I was crucified, made fun of, right, by Conrad. And now, then later, in 2020, when COVID came, I had nothing to do. That's when I started making videos about Oracle on my YouTube channel. But my work on Oracle started way before 2020, way before. And this, this is the type of work that I did before. So I think, I think... If you have any brains, and I do understand some of you might not, right? Some of the Conrads on Twitter might not have the brains or might be too jealous or I don't know what's wrong with them. Have a problem with me after doing this kind of work, but that's fine. Now, so this is what I've done for Oracle, right? Then I started talking about the tankers. Right? That's what really grew my channel. Started talking about the tankers during, during COVID. It was a very popular trade. And then the price of the tanker stocks went down. Right? So this is when the tankers were popular. And then, and then the tankers went down. So Scorpio tankers went from almost $40 to 8 almost 80%. What did the Conrads of the world of the world said? Well, he just has one successful investment. Oracle one trick pony. He got lucky. He should go back to dancing. Yeah, keep a day, uh, daytime job. Now, look what happened with Scorpio tankers. Went from the bottom of eight eight dollars. It reached like eight dollars to now five hundred percent up. Now notice how long how long was that downturn. The peak was in January 2020, and then 
January 2022 started going up. Two years. Two years of pain. This guy was an idiot. Nobody could trust him. He was shady. He was the worst CEO in the tanker space. Worst. People hated Scorpio tankers. The ones, the people that were in the tankers. They liked every other tanker, but they hated Scorpio tankers. He was the worst CEO. Right? Then the stock went up on the ramp, but it took two years. The company had debt. It was going to go bankrupt. Kind of like Voxter, actually. Very, very similar, right? Now, what, what, what are people saying today about the tankers? Well, I should have stayed in tankers. Because I, I said, I stopped talking about the tankers. Why? Because I had no liquidity. Tankers were the only spot in my portfolio, the only spot that I had any liquidity. Everything else was restricted. So I didn't want to exit the trade, but I wanted to I wanted to get into Voxter, right? Somewhere around here, 2020. So I got in. Voxter went up significantly, like 4x from the level that I bought it. There was no congratulations back then. Oh, great move. Voxter went up 4x. Oh, no, 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 no. There was no congratulations. Today, today, what am I hearing? Oh, I, I, I'm not hearing, oh, congratulations on the tanker. You were so right. You were so right. No, 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 no. Today I'm hearing, oh, you should have stayed in tankers. The other day, there was a comment, stick with tankers, you know, referring to, 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 to Voxter, stick with tankers. But when tankers were in the two-year horrible market, it was stick with dancing. Now stick with tankers. And now, why did, why did it take so, and it's, just, it's not just Scorpio tankers. If you look at TK tankers, Right. Also, the peak January and then February 2022, two years later, look, goes on 300% up. So it's, so it's all of them. Now I should stick with tankers. It's not, it's not people are not connecting the dots. Huh? Maybe the, 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 the reasoning behind this guy's philosophy, maybe there's something there that maybe, maybe if, if it took two years for the tankers to turn around, Maybe there's something to Voxter. Oh, no, 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 no. He should have stuck with tankers. But then when he was talking about the tankers, he should have, he, he was a one-trick pony. One-trick pony. Lucky on Oracle. Lucky. After studying 110 documents from the courthouse. Lucky. Lucky. But now I should have stayed with tankers, right? And the text. The text that was sent to me, sent to me the other day, which is who is Bugby? Someone on Twitter is giving you credit for his knowledge of him. Apparently, apparently, someone is very conflicted because that person wants to hate me. But I introduced him to Bugby. Hmm. So maybe I was right on the tankers. No, no, I wouldn't get credit for that, right? No, no, lucky, lucky. So now, now we go to Voxter, right? I pumped the stock. I pumped the stock. I was 100% responsible from the stock going from here to a dollar. It was all me. It had nothing to do with the fact that the market had a lot of liquidity, interest rates were low, nothing, zero, and then that, that they got approved for a turn your opinion letter. It had nothing to do with this. It was all me. My videos 
took it from here to here. And, and then the slide from here to here. Of course, it's all me too. It has nothing to do with interest rates. Nothing. It doesn't matter that uh, the Fed started to raise interest rates like maniacs for the, to fight the inflation that they created. Nothing. Zero. It doesn't matter that Voxter is in real estate and it, and it makes money when the transactions are high, right? And transactions are low right now because of the level of interest rate. That has nothing to do with this. Just like, just like, just like uh, Scorpio tankers went down, it had nothing to do with the fact that Scorpio tankers was down or all the tankers were down because the rates for the tankers were low. It had nothing to do with this, right? And then now uh, the, the, the tankers go 4x, 5x. It has nothing to do with the fact that now the tanker rates are good, right? Nothing. The market and the stock are completely disconnected. They have nothing to do with each other, right? Just like on Voxter, it has nothing. Interest rates have zero impact on Voxter. Zero. Also, what has zero impact on Voxter is the fact that liquidity in the venture capital markets is down 92%. Zero impact. Absolutely zero. It's, I pumped it. I pumped it. I was wrong. And now, move on to Aduro. Now, Aduro stock is up 144% from, from the bottom. And when I introduced it, it was like 70 something. Right? So it's like 65% from, from that time. And now, look, 65%, like I don't consider it a great success. I, I would consider it a great success when it's up three times, five times, ten times, whatever. 65%, that's, that's nothing. In, in a market like this, in a space like this, that two people come in and sell the stock, it can... It can get back to 75%. So no. But apparently, apparently right now, we have more Conrads. We have more Conrads that, that again, I'm going to read some of the stuff that I was sent. Yeah, I know nothing about chemistry, but I know, I do know that Marius has zero ability to assess if Aduro works. That said, I do feel like it's about to fly, not because of war. it works. Yeah, of course, the technology doesn't work. But because the hype is building, greater fool and all. Yeah, so, so Aduro's stock is up because of me. Wow, I am amazing. I am incredible. I put out some videos. And the stock is up. It has nothing to do with the fact that they got Shell signed up. It has nothing to do with the fact that they finished R2. It has nothing to do with the fact that they sign up two multi-billion dollar companies. It has nothing to do with the fact that now four more multi-billion dollar companies are at the table. Nothing. It's all Marius. I am pumping it. I make a video and people are buying it. They're not thinking for themselves. It has nothing to do with the fact that now Rick Appleman left a stable job to join Aduro. Nothing. It's Marius pumping it. He doesn't understand chemistry at all. He, he, he cannot even look that... All this interest is coming in. He's pumping it. 
and the stock is up. Oracle stock went from four cents to now what seventy cents? It's because Marius made all the videos. It has nothing to do with the fact that the management actually delivered, that they solved the legals, that they raised money for drilling, that they successfully drilled. Before that, got the permit for drilling, published 43101, now published a PEA that has a uh, pre-tax NPV of $2.3 billion. No, nothing to do with this. It's all Marius pumping it. The management has no impact on the stock prices going up. And Aduro's technology is, is not working. All, all these $4 billion companies that are now running running this, they, they have nothing to do. They, they, they already have fantastic technology for plastic recycling. They just feel like they just want to test some things because why not? Why not? It has nothing to do with anything. So, anyway, the, the video is almost 20 minutes long. So, to, to answer the question and why this video is important is because whether you create content and share investment ideas with somebody else, uh, when, you, when you are right and when you do the work, yeah, some people will... Uh, give you credit for it but when you uh, when you analyze a company do a good due diligence the stock will goes up and you share this with somebody else that somebody else is going to take credit that they're smart for getting into the investment right when the stock prices go down it's it's your fault it's always your fault it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if it's 2008 financial crisis if if interest rates are responsible for crashing the, the 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 stock, it's never it's never somebody. It's always your fault, right? It's always like this. So, it all the negative things that you guys are sending me about people saying or you see this on Twitter, I don't see this because they're blocked. But you still send me some stuff, so I see it indirectly. But to me, it's. It's just another case of Conrad, right? You do all this work, and then there's always a Conrad out there, right? There's this ex, ex MCE guy on Twitter from Rhode Island, from New York, 60, 70 years old. The guy has no life. So think about this, 60, 70-year-old guy coming after me, after I do this type of work? Like, what does it say about him? Think about this. What does it say about this loser? He has no life. And he's coming after me? After I do this type of work on my companies? Right? It's like mental. Mental. So that's it for this video. But yeah, I should stick to tankers now. But when tankers were in the bottom for two years, I should have st stuck with dancing. Thank you, all the Conrads out there. Keep yapping.